Hello, in this video, I am going to explain basic understanding of sensory properties of foods. This is the third part of the foods and food properties video. Sensory properties of foods are the most complex due to the psychological components on it. Sensory perception start from long distance interaction when looking at a food in the supermarket and purchasing it. This is the first interaction. The second short distance interaction starts when foods are bought on the dining table and serve on the plate. In reality, our sense organs such as retina in the eyes, olfactory in the nose and touch by finger or fork have already started to assess the sensory. In the third stage, we consume the foods by biting grinding, chewing, masticating with saliva, and then we swallow the foods. In this stage, all sensory organs inside the mouth started to interact with the characteristics of foods. The tactile perception in the oral cavity also plays a role. In the final stage, we could have different types of feelings after swallow. In this slide, I am going to explain the sensory perception process and our acceptance level. First, physicochemical properties of a food is created by growing, processing, and storage conditions. Second, these properties are interacted by five human sense organs and created our sensory perceptions. Third, sensory perception is interacted with our preferences at the sensory integration and then we receive overall sensory preferences. Fourth, overall sensory preferences are centrally integrated with the emotional or psychological factors in the brain. Then we come up with an acceptance level. The dimensions of the emotional factors are very wide. I have included few of these. For example, hunger, mood, knowledge, age, gender, and past experiences. Love is an important factor. For example, most instances, we have high preference of a meal if it is prepared by our loved one. For example, mother and wife. Considering the fundamental understanding of sensory perception from the earlier slide, we can define sensory properties. A sensory property can be defined as the human physiological and psychological perception of physicochemical properties of food and their interactions. In most of the cases, they interact each other. For example, taste and order perception may not be perceived individually, rather in combination. Physiological apparatus examines the food and interacts with the properties of food. These apparatus include fingers, that is touch, mouth, that is oral cavity, eyes, that is retina, tongue, that is taste bud, nose, that is olfactory, ear, uh, that is ear drum. I have included the organs and their sensing units in this slide. For example, taste buds are placed on the tongue and aroma receptors that is olfactory in the nose roof. After a physiological process, sensory signals are sent to the brain, which interprets the signals and integrates with the psychological component, that is emotional factor. After this process, we come to a decision about the food's sensory quality. The list of the emotional factors are included here from earlier slides. For example, love, hate, mood, hunger, knowledge, and satiety. However, hunger and satiety could have both physiological and psychological components. Sensory properties are complex and I have included few examples. In this slide, photographs of the taste bud are shown for the non-tester and super-tester. Super-testers are more sensitive than non-tester. Therefore, salt and sugar need to be added 
more to the food products for increasing saltiness and sweetness if products are targeted for the non-tester. The sensory sensitivity also changes with age, gender and physiological status, for example women when they are pregnant. I would like to include few examples to show the complexity of the sensory properties. I am going to explain how we perceive juiciness in the case of fruits and vegetables. We perceive apples or carrots are more juicy than bananas, although all are nearly at the same moisture contents. Why? Cell cell adhesion in the cases of apples or carrots are high. Therefore, cells collapse during biting and release juice, and then we feel juicy. However, in the case of bananas, cell cell adhesion is low. Therefore, cells are separated during biting and we don't feel juicy since no juice is released. In the microscopic views, we could visualize the cell rupture in the case of carrots and cell separation in the case of bananas. I will show these processes more clearly in the next slides. However, meat and fish don't release juice during consumption and it is identified that juiciness of meat and fish depends on the degree of hydrated water to the protein matrix. In this slide, I have shown the cell rupture and separation for a clear understanding. First case, cells are ruptured due to a strong cell cell adhesion. In the second one, cells are separated due to the low cell cell adhesion. Now I am explaining the complexity of the emotional components with few examples. If you ask someone which do you prefer, apple pie or chocolate cake, he or she could answer, I don't know, I like them both. It is true that we don't like only one food, therefore many factors are involved in the selection. If we had to give up one or the others, which one would be? He or she could answer, actually it depends. If we are talking about my mother's apple pie, then I prefer that to any chocolate cake. But if we are talking uh, about anyone's apple pie, then I don't know. It depends, I guess, on a bunch of things. Therefore, there are many emotional factors such as consciousness, love, satisfaction, contentment, aversion, and hate. If you ask again what other things it depends, he or she could answer, well, it depends on what I have had for dinner. For example, if I have had a heavy dinner, I think I would probably go for the pie. And on the Thanksgiving, it is pie for sure. That's a big tradition in my family. But I don't know, after something light like fish, Chocolate cake is great if it has frosting. On the other case, I don't care for plain chocolate cake. Therefore, physiology, hunger, past experience could also play a role. This explains the complex process of sensory perceptions, liking, that is hedonic, and acceptance of a food. Sensory properties can be divided into tactile properties, textual properties, color and appearance, taste, order, and sound. Tactile properties are perceived as touch, for example, by the fingers. The surface roughness and softness of a food can be evaluated by touch. We could also perceive the tactile assessment when a food enters in the oral cavity. 
Textile properties are tactile properties perceived inside the mouth, but taste and flavor are not included. Some instances, texture could be assessed before perceived senses in the mouth. For example, compressing a food by fingers or fork. Appearance could be glossiness, shininess, and surface roughness. These are important for attracting foods. Tastes are sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. However, well-defined classifications of orders are very difficult. Acoustic properties is the sound created when you consume foods, such as biting, crushing, mixing, and even when we drink. In the next video, I will explain the measurement methods, modeling, and applications of food properties. Thank you.